I'm recording. I'm taking my pants off now. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, fine. Okay, so we will sync then on one, two, three, sync. sync. Alright. <laughs> Alright, play in three, two, one. Play. It's no play. Come on, you guys. This is. <laughs> Put together. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hello, welcome to Dash Rendar Chronicles. Can you guys see this all right? Yep. Okay, yep. good. Welcome to Dash Rendar Chronicles. This is certainly something. Um, my name's Nine Gear Crow. I'm Blind Sally. And I'm Poorly Written Novel. And uh, this is a mod for uh, Galactic Battlegrounds. Uh, are either of you guys familiar with Galactic Battlegrounds? Nope. Not particularly, no. Are you guys familiar with Age of Empires 2? No. Uh, I'm aware of it. Oh, why did I invite you guys on? Um, this is a, uh, <laughs> Age of Empires 2, um, real-time strategy, fun game. You play as ancient civilizations. Um, Galactic Battlegrounds is Age of Empires 2 but reskinned with Star Wars units. Oh. It's one of those mods. It's, it's one of those. And this uh, this mod is a almost level-for-level level recreation of the Shadows of the Empire game, the N64 and PC, using the Scenario Maker function for Galactic Battlegrounds. <laughs> that seems like an excessive uh... amount of time and effort. Made by somebody who is way too obsessed with Dash Rendar. I can't believe you did this, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so. Any anything to get out of LPing the full PC version of Shadows of the Empire. Pretty much, pretty much. This is this is the PC version. I should note Galactic Battlegrounds being on PC. Uh, this is it. This is why it's sold so poorly compared to the N64 version. <laughs> so without further ado, um, starting the game. That's not the proper font. It is. This is as good as it gets. This is the onboard font for uh, Galactic Battlegrounds. Um, the text doesn't scroll. We It just sort of appears on the screen like this. It doesn't even have be... that nice, like, angled look to it or no. anything. No. <laughs> then a couple yeah, seconds you... pass and this happens and... Yeah, you, you should be playing a very, very tiny, like, uh, muted uh, version of the Star Wars theme. Just I, I will. I'm really going to play text. Uh, a chiptune version. Yeah, I was going to say, play a MIDI version. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> Anyways, Dash Rendar flies by. Um, the Outrider. Onto Hoth. It, it cuts just really quickly to this. Um, also, I, I love how... The fucking mod has the Outrider literally backwards. Oh, you're Which right. Which way is that thing supposed to be flying? I, I've Sp barely I... paid attention to your LP. So it's uh, it's fl it's flying. Um, you see where the Tauntaun is? Yeah. So it's flying towards the Tauntaun, and that would be the front of the ship. Yeah, but but the ship itself is actually like they they flipped the orientation of it uh, horizontally. The cockpit should be on the right side of the ship, and it's on the left side there. Oh, so, yeah. So we're in the mirror universe. Um. <laughs> it's like, for the longest time, like, all the way back at the end of the Shadows of the Empire LP, when you posted that screenshot, I was looking at that Outrider unit, and I'm going like, there's something really, really weird about that. I don't I don't know why, and I finally figured it out. Well, now you know. Um, yeah. It's, it's the mirror universe. This is Evil Dash Rendar, I think. Um, anyways, he gets out of the Outrider. He just appears there. You can see Dash. Tiny Dash. <laughs> um, and General Carlist Raiken? Uh, General Raiken? Raiken? Help me out here, guys. Let's go. I'm gonna go pull out, I'm gonna go pull up the Star Wars wiki. I guarantee you they have a pronunciation guide on it. <laughs> oh my god, not even five minutes in and we're already <laughs> balls deep. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, since the thread is not going to see the text on here, and this is a radio drama, um, since, and you guys are the guests and I'm the narrator, I'm going to need one of you to do the voice of General Riken. 
Oh, if I must. Good to see you again, Captain Rendar. Dash, line. Oh, oh god, wait. Fuck, I'm Dash? Oh no! <laughs> I can't do smug. You better, uh... Yeah, you're, you're, you're the one with the perfect Dash voice here. Why don't you do it? I, I, I feel that would be um, arrogant and presumptuous of myself. PW, uh, please. Nice to see you too, General. I brought your shipment. It's in the cargo hold. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going with here. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> We're expecting company soon, so I wouldn't stick around too long if I were you. This dialogue is top notch. <laughs> An Imperial probe droid was located outside. <laughs> An Imperial probe droid located the base not too long ago. I'm turning into fucking Peppy from Star Fox here. The Empire should be here any time now. Dual barrel roll. I'm not paying you guys. Wow, fuck you. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> It'll be up to the thread to guess which is uh, in the mod and which is not. Uh, anyways, the cut scene. Uh, the southern gate opens and some Tauntauns arrive. You might be thinking, oh, is it is it Luke and, and Han coming in? Um, actually, it's neither. They just sort of walk off screen. Um, and we pan up to Han Solo and Chewie hanging out by the Millennium Falcon. Which is also flipped the wrong way. Uh, actually, no, no wait, that's it's, right. It's, it's the right. Yeah, it's the right way. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what they've fucking done with the models here. What? Oh, uh, they're... They're f they're flipped the wrong way. That's okay. Uh, PW, since you're Dash, you ought to do Han. They're essentially the same. All right, Chewie. Keep working on those repairs. Crow, give us a Chewie roar. <laughs> <laughs> well, look who it is. Han Solo. I thought you were still on Ord Ma Mantel. Bounty Hunter Trouble bring you here? God damn it, I had to pick the same voice for both of these fuckers, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I see you still fly the Outrider. I hear she's almost as fast as the Falcon. Last time we raced, I let you win, Han. You and that pile of bolts wouldn't stand a chance now. I appreciate the modder adding uh, the Han in there so you knew it was Dash talking, because... <laughs> <laughs> right. You'll get your chance to show off, Dash. The Empire's on its way over. If I put... Ah, wow, fuck. What is all this dialogue? Jesus Christ. Give me a second. I gotta actually read this fucking sentence. I want to point out while, while PW's reading this, um, none of this is playable. This is all... Uh, a, this is, there's like a hundred triggers in this mod to let this cutscene play out. Okay, okay. They, they're, this is a run-on goddamn sentence, but I got it. Commas are not fucking periods, people. Use your goddamn punctuation properly. <laughs> the Empire's on its way over. If I put in a good word for you, you might be able to help out around here and make a little extra money. Only a little? They'll pay you well. Don't worry. I'll talk to Luke. To which point uh, Han Solo buggers off. Uh, you might notice... Uh... Below, Chewie, um, R2-D2, and C-3PO hanging out. And also to the right, those Tauntauns, those are the ones that we saw earlier. They just walked into the corner. That was the point of them. So, I'm gonna ask, because I don't pay attention to any of this shit. <laughs> Go on. Is this actual dialogue from Shadows of the Empire in any of its incarnations? Uh, some of it? I, I, I vaguely recall, like, a... I know, like, the opening of the N64 game, at least, because, like, fucking Han Solo doesn't show up in the PC version because they didn't want to get a sound alike for Harrison Ford there. But uh, I know in the uh, the N64 one with the really horribly drawn motion comics, like, there's a bit of back and forth about, uh, you know, how fast the Outrider is compared to the Falcon and, like, Dash letting Han win the last time they yeah. raced. So, so I don't know that, if it's it's f verboten quoted here, but it, it happened. That that's more what I'm asking. Like, is this is this just bad Star Wars writing, or is this bad mod writing? Um, a little of column A, a little of column B. Yeah, because uh, like 
Shadows of the Empire, the novel, takes place, like, it starts, like, well, well, well after this. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, ne next scene, uh, we're, we're, we cut to an inside shot of Echo Base. <laughs> General, there's a fleet of Star Destroyers coming out of hyperspace at Sector 4. Oh, must be a Mon Calamari technician. Sure is. Also, you'll notice Princess Leia's in this scene. In her full-on A New Hope attire. like Correct. Really, they, they couldn't put her in her Empire Strikes Back outfit. The modder only had time to mod in Dash Rendar. Ugh. And General Reekin says, Reroute all power to the energy shields. Gotta hold them off until all transports are away. Prepare for ground assault. We we'll cut back to Dash Rendar. All right, Skywalker. You pay me well, and I'll take down all the Imperials you want. You'll notice uh, the snow speeders are flying away now. There's a whole swarm of them. Uh, Luke responds, "Sure, we'll pay you. We're short on pilots and gunners anyway, so we could use the help." Don't think you quite got there with that one. What? Well, hey, this is—he's not Return of the Jedi, Luke, yet, right? He's still pretty uh, eager. Yeah, he's, he's still got a little bit of optimism left in him that uh, fucking Vader hasn't yeah. grown out of him yet. I mean, yeah, I would have just gone straight for the <laughs> for the bad Joker impression personally, but... <laughs> uh, anyways, they get in, they fly yeah, away. Well, that That's uh, Last Jedi, Luke. We're getting to that novel. All right, rogues, <laughs> attack pattern Delta. So, at this point... This is still all cutscene. They kind of fly around. The ATATs and ATSTs aren't moving. Um, eventually, Dash breaks off, and he fires at an ATST until it dies. You'll notice the ATAT hasn't moved; it's just standing there. Um, he of then course. flies away and shoots at another one. You'll notice the ATATs are still not moving. Two scout walkers down, Commander. Uh, Luke and Wedge run up on this ATAT and try and take it down. Um, but as Luke notes, that armor is too strong for blasters, rogue group. Use your harpoons and tow cables on the walkers and go for the legs. At which point, the ATATs stop moving again, and Dash does this. Copy, rogue leader. <laughs> Detach <laughs> cable. <laughs> That's it, and then it falls over. <laughs> this is riveting stuff, folks. And you still haven't gotten to play a single minute of this, huh? No, no. Nice shot, Captain Rendar. Thanks, Peppy. <laughs> um, someone gets shot at. They're getting closer to the power generator. And we cut to a scene of uh, the rebels being blown up. Um, the RTS action is, is more fun because stuff goes on. The ground units fighting ground units is great. <laughs> Uh, I remembered this from Star Wars Battlefront. And yeah. Battlefront 2. <laughs> exactly. And whatever they called the newest one. Battlefront 2? No, it's the the one that's out right now is just Battlefront. The one that's coming out this year is Battlefront 2. So they are they just reused the same one. Oh, God. Also, you, you got fucking Grandmaster Pycelle going, Target, maximum firepower. And then it, it blows up. And then it reappears again, but it's on fire. And then Luke points out that the generator's been destroyed. He's all like, let's get out of here. And they're gone. Except for Dash. So much for just a simple cargo delivery. And so Echo Base is defeated and we win. <laughs> what Was that all cutscene? Was there any gameplay to that? No, that's... Everything. Level complete. 114 triggers to sit there and watch that for 10 minutes. Yeah. Thanks, Tevious, aka The Vampire Slayer, and Master Etchu of SCN Punk, 